How to say fun in Spanish. The correct way to say fun in Spanish depends on the part of speech you're using. Fun can be translated as a noun, adjective, or verb. Additionally, it may help to know several related terms in case one of them fits your circumstances more accurately. Part 1 Direct Translation 1. Use the noun form la diversion. This feminine noun is the term you should use when referring to fun as its own separate thing or idea. Pronunciation, la di ver c o h n. Example, la pour la diversion. I read for fun. 2. Switch to divertido or divertida for the adjective form. Use this term when you want to say that something else a person, place, thing, or idea is fun. Use divertido when describing a masculine noun and divertida when describing a feminine noun. Pronunciation, d, ver, t, do, or d, ver, t, da. Example, el museo es divertido. The museum is fun. 3. Try the verb form diverters. Translated directly, this verb means to have fun. This is the best, most direct way to describe the action of having fun. Pronunciation, d, ver, ter, say. Whenever you want to directly say that someone is having fun, you should use this verb. Do not pair the noun for fun, la diversion, with the verb for have, tenor. This is an irregular, stem-changing verb, and it's also reflexive. That means you'll need to precede the conjugated verb diverter with an appropriate pronoun based on the subject of the sentence. First person singular, me divierto. Second person singular, te diviertes. Third person singular, se diviert. First person plural, nos divertimos. Second person plural, os divertis. Third person plural, se divierten. Example, nos divertimos en el parque. We have fun at the park. Part 2 Related Nouns 1. Refer to joy as la alegría. This feminine noun is commonly translated as joy, merriment, or mirth. Pronunciation, la a la gre e a. Example, el evento es se celebra con la alegría. The event is celebrated with merriment. 2. Talk about entertainment using el entretenimiento. This masculine noun means entertainment or amusement in English. Pronunciation, e-h-l-n, tre, ten, e-e, me, n, to. Example, Ella Lee revistas de entretenimiento. She reads magazines for entertainment. 3. Use la broma to describe playfulness. You can translate this feminine noun as playfulness or joke. Pronunciation, la broma. Example, s-o-e-s una broma divertida. That is a funny joke. 4. Switch to la burla for light-hearted teasing. This feminine noun refers to teasing or joking that occurs at someone else's expense. It generally refers to playful teasing rather than mean, spirited teasing, though. Pronunciation, la bur, la. Example, disfruta de las burlas de su amigos. He enjoys his friends teasing. Part 3 Related Adjectives 1. Use entretenido when something is entertaining. If you want to describe something that's both fun and entertaining, this adjective is an appropriate choice. Switch between entretenido for masculine nouns and entretenida for feminine nouns. Pronunciation, en, tre, ten, e, e, do, or en, tre, ten, e, e, da. Example, la novela es muy entretenida. The novel is very entertaining. 2. Describe something funny with gracioso. If someone or something is amusing or funny, you could use this adjective to describe that noun instead of divertido. Use gracioso when describing masculine nouns and graciosa when describing feminine nouns. Pronunciation, gra, c, o, so or gra, c, o, sa. Example, el cuento es gracioso. The story is funny. Part 4 Related Verbs 1. Make fun of something using burlars. When someone makes fun of someone else, this would likely be the most appropriate verb to use. Pronunciation, bur, lar, say day. This verb is reflexive, so you'll need to use an appropriate pronoun before the verb to refer back to the subject of the sentence. Note that you'll also need to use the preposition to before introducing the person being made fun of. 
Otherwise, standard conjugation rules apply. Example, Ella se burla de su hermano. She makes fun of her brother. 2. Conjugate verse when poking fun. You could use this verb to describe the action of making fun, but it's more appropriately translated as poking fun at or laughing at. Pronunciation, re, eer, se de. Use the preposition de before introducing the person being made fun of, and add an appropriate pronoun before the conjugated form to keep this verb reflexive. Note that rear is an irregular verb. First person singular, rio. Second person singular, res. Third person singular, re. First person plural, ramos. Second person plural, res. Third person plural, rain. Example, te res de tu hermana. You poke fun at your sister. 3. Joke around with bromir. When you're joking with someone or kidding around, this is an appropriate verb to use. Pronunciation, bro, me, hr. This verb follows standard conjugation rules. Example, bro mean conmigo. They joke with me. 4. Use gozar when you enjoy something. When you're having fun with something or enjoying it, refer to that action using this verb. Pronunciation, go, zarde. The standard rules of conjugation apply for this verb, but you'll need to follow this verb with the preposition to before introducing the noun being enjoyed. Example, gozo de mis amigos. I enjoy my friends.